guys, thanks for catching up with us. I'm LaVon. And I'm Jessica. We're about to get the ultimate tour of Metropolitan State College of Denver. This campus is in the heart of downtown Denver, Colorado, so you know there's lots to do. So you know what? Let's get this tour started. Metro State is located on a 127-acre urban campus in Denver, Colorado. There's a lot to do in downtown Denver, just like any other big city. We've got museums, a lot of culture. The mountains are really nearby. Consider myself, claim myself to be an athlete, and so it's nice to be able to play golf and tennis and ride my bike and ski and kayak and all those things, rock climb, you know, it's, you can't beat it. Uh, the Knight Street Park is the longest uh, stretch of preserved residential housing in the city of Denver. It was the first area that was settled uh, by Europeans in this area. Metro State Denver's campus sits adjacent to downtown Denver, making the city the university's playground and extended campus. What is there to do around town? There's tons to do around town. If you hop on the light rail, you can get to the Rockies game. You can get to the Broncos nice. game. You can go to the 16th Street Mall. There's tons of shopping. There's great eateries, brew pubs, nightlife, jazz, you name it. It's right here in the city of Denver, and it's all accessible by, by the light rail. You can get by without a car. Just make sure you catch the light rail that stops on campus. The rail runs through the city, and passes are included in tuition. Come on. There are more than 21,500 total students enrolled at Metro State. 24% are students of color, 97% are Colorado residents, and 93% are from the seven county Denver metro area. The average class size is 19 students. I have a disabled student in, in each class, some in wheelchairs, some with interpreters, some with different learning issues, and I just love that, that our campus is so open to people from all different backgrounds. And um, I really enjoy that opportunity to teach such a diverse student body. Metro State College of Denver shares their campus with two of the schools. That way you can definitely plan for the long term all in one place. You can start off at the Community College of Denver, then complete your four years at Metro State, then go to graduate school at the University of Colorado of Denver. Metro State has a modified open admission policy, meaning that students 19 years of age or younger must meet certain criteria based on GPA, ACT scores, and class rank. For students who are 20 and older who have a high school diploma or GED, admissions is open. We have a modified open admissions policy, so if you're 19 and under, you have an ACT score and a GPA that have to calculate to um, what we call a CCHE index of 76, and in addition you have to have completed certain courses in high school. If you're 20 and older, we have an open admissions policy. That means that if you're 20 and older and you have a high school diploma or a GED, you are admitted to Metro State. In-state students pay roughly $3,300 annually in tuition and fees, while non-residents will pay about $12,000. Uh, one of our key selling points is that we are urban and diverse. We're the most diverse undergraduate institution in the state with 24% of our uh, student body being students of color and the most affordable. Um, we're Colorado's best value in higher education as far as four-year institutions. Metro State offers 53 majors and 82 minors, as well as an individualized degree program. A few student favorites are art, biology, teacher education, marketing, criminal justice and criminology, and aviation and aerospace science. You can literally fly high in these world indoor airports. Aviation and aerospace students train to become pilots in these flight simulators. You can also train to become an air traffic controller. All programs are approved by the FAA. Hey, keep your eyes on the horizon. Sorry about that. 72% of Metro State Denver's faculty have a PhD or terminal degree and 74% are on the tenure track. I like my professors because they're actual professionals in the fields that they teach in so you get hands-on experience. I like all my professors. They're pretty, uh, they like to engage students a lot and uh, you know it's a lot of student interaction. The Metro State Roadrunners are competitive in the tough Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference at the NCAA Division II level. Metro State is a non-residential commuter campus with no residence halls or student housing facilities. But if you're looking for a place to stay, there are plenty of rentals close to campus. Metro State doesn't have dorms on campus, but they do have student housing facilities near campus. That is only for students. And I lived in one of those for two years. And what I liked about it was that it was a complete apartment with your own kitchen, your own bathroom, your own bedroom. You're not sharing a bedroom with anyone and it was just an apartment with other students. Metro State has more than 100 clubs and organizations to help you create your own community of friends. You know, being right next to, uh, to downtown and being able to just walk across the street and have a lot of interesting things available to you makes uh, teaching here 
even more fun because downtown becomes part of our classroom. Expand your connections based on your major or interest in finance, engineering, hospitality, or reading, or reach out to the community through volunteer and civic engagement. Art is a popular major here at Metro State. Students in the sculpting program use materials like wood, clay, and even tape to create some pretty interesting projects. Thanks for joining us on our tour of Metropolitan State College of Denver. Wait, you mean our tour's already over? Unfortunately it is. We've got so much to do. See a movie, join a fencing class, take a tango lesson. Tango? Hey, I'll tell you what, let me give you a nice spoon. <laughs> Wait, LeVon! For University TV, I'm Jessica. He's LeVon. We'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>